Hi guys, I was playing around with my Kinect and hooking that up to my computer last night and I found some cool programs that I was actually pretty impressed with so I thought I'd knock out a video and show you guys what I've been working on. I'll give you a quick look at one I prepared earlier. This is just a 3D scan of my head and I'll quickly go over how you can do the same thing. What I've been using is, apart from the Kinect itself, is something I've found called Reconstruct Me Console. It's There's a non-commercial license, so if you're not going to be using it for anything commercial, then you can get it for free. And if you are going to use it for anything commercial, then the price is 300 which isn't too bad if you're actually going to use it for something commercial. But still, it's a, it's pretty fun to play around with. So anyway, you can download that and you can get the drivers there. I actually got the drivers, a different set of drivers, when I was trying to install a program called Breckle. So this is another option if you have problems with the drivers with that. I just used the all-in-one Connect Auto Driver Installer and that installed a software called OpenNI, which is what I'm using anyway and also at the end I'll just bring everything into Blender and play with it a little bit so that it's a little bit more ready to be brought into something practical. But anyway I'll jump straight into it. Um, once you've uninstalled Reconstruct Me, once you've installed Reconstruct Me, it, it all ends up in a single folder. To be honest there isn't really any UI. You have to kind of work your way through bat files. There's a bunch of bat files that start off and one of those should work for you. The scan ones are the ones that you really want to use. What they do is they use config files. I've changed one of the config files myself so that it's a bit more specific for what I'm doing. I'll just quickly go over some of the settings in it. The main ones that I found useful are the volume size, which is the resolution of the model that's going to come out. I found if I went too high then I'd get errors with running out of memory, but it depends how much RAM you have in your computer. Or I'm not sure exactly what memory it is, maybe it's graphics card RAM. I'm not too much of a hardware guy. And the other things worth paying attention to are the units. These define the kind of the cube that will be measured by the capture. I'll just start up one of the... So when you start it, it'll just get you to agree to the license and then it'll open up eventually this and you can see me. Hi. Um, so yeah, the volume min and the volume max. At the moment the x is, these are in millimeters so negative 300 will be about there, positive 300, 300 will be about there. Um, that's the same for x and y, it'll be about there-ish. I've got to change my speed. So yeah, there'll be a box about there and about there, and that's that will be what it we'll be trying to capture. And we'll have a go and see how successful it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press P, and then I'm going to slowly rotate around, and I'm going to have to take this headphone off or else I'll get all tangled. Um, and yeah, I'll rotate around and see how we go. Well, as you can probably see, I forgot to put my microphone back on after I finished doing the 3D scan. 
So ignore my talking face there because I'm going to have to do the, the rest of this video just talking with an overlay. So that's, as you can see, the scan turned out pretty well at the moment. I'm just saving it in the video. You just hit yes and then type in a file name. And then that will be placed in the same folder as all the other files wherever you ins installed Reconstruct Me. I'm just showing that now. And I'll just quickly open up Blender. And I'll import the model just from the folder that I saved it into. And it takes a while to import. There's quite a few polys in the model. I've had them up around 300,000 to a million polys but it depends what res resolution you do the scan at. When you first load it, it's hard to see where exactly the mesh is because it's it comes in fairly large. So you normally just press the period key on the numpad and that should center the character, center the camera on the character. You'll want to rotate it 90 degrees around the x-axis, that's normally all you need to do, and then it should be in the right orientation, and from there you just scale it, and zoom in again by hitting the period key, and there we have a fairly decent mesh which you can read topograph or you can use it as it is, depending on what you want to use your mesh for. Thanks for watching guys, make sure you comment and subscribe. Thanks.